What's up my YouTubian friends? So today we're going to do question and answer time with Shannon Humphreys. Well, this time next week it'll be Shannon Youngblood, but so let's get on with the interview, shall we? I'm not going to do this. That's retarded. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the TTC questions. There's there's a couple. And then we have the other questions. I, I will go through them as quick as it possible because I know you guys are not going to want to watch 35 hours of me talking. I mean, I know I'm amazing, but... Okay, so TTC. How long have you been trying? Um, we are on our third active cycle of doing all the whole get up and then um, we've been not preventing for three years so I mean technically like I said this is our third like active active cycle so we'll go with three months that's well yeah we'll go with three months would you rather have a girl or a boy first and why um, growing up I always wanted an older boy, so I wanted to have a boy first, and I wanted twin girls. I don't know why, that's just what I wanted. I, I have this, this, this thing where I'm like, you know what I really want? I want, like, the older boy to take care of the younger girls, because, like, and we'll get into my siblings later, because that's one of the questions, but, I mean, I have an older brother, not that he ever stuck up for me or anything, but, but, yes, yeah, so, um, that was what I used to want. I think now, though, I really want a girl first. No, no particular reason, I just really want a girl first. Uh, number three, what are all the things you check for in TTC? Um, this is this is a fun story. It's slightly TMI. Um, I mean, I check, I check, I check my CM, I check my temperature, um, I OPK, blah, 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 all the normal stuff. As far as like I said, this is TMI. As far as checking my cervix, um, I have kind of stubby fingers and. My first pap smear that I ever got, um, the doctor didn't yell at me, but she blamed me because apparently my cervix, cervix is pushed kind of far back, I guess. And, like, she, like, blamed me. She's like, well, I can't do a manual exam because your cervix is too far. And I was like, whoa, I'm sorry that my cervix is so far back. That's, I apologize. I will try and fix that. So um, I don't check my cervix. One, I really don't know how. And two, I don't know if I can reach it. Because I have short, stubby fingers. So, yeah, there's that one. Um, number four, which I think is an awesome question, is do you think it's emotionally harder to try to conceive with a man who already has a child more so than this being your first child? Because um, this would be my first child. This is Vaughn's um, second. This, are, this, would be, this would be his second. Um, he's got a daughter. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, I can't get it off, but that's Lillian right there. Hold on, right there. And she's also uh, this one right here that you can't really see that well. Right there. Um, that's his daughter. She's seven. She'll be eight in October. Absolutely adorable. Um, but anyways, so is it emotionally harder to TTC with a man who's already who already has a child? Um, Vaughn's not like that. Vaughn's not like, oh, well, I've had one, so whenever we have one, that's fine. He's not like that. He he knows that I want a child. He knows that that, that I would give anything for it, and he's totally supportive of, um, you know, whatever we want to do. Um, so it's for me, it's not emotionally hard. I think maybe if Lillian lived with us, it would be more difficult because she's not my biological daughter so I think that would be a little bit more difficult but she doesn't live with us so it's probably not as difficult as it is for some who their stepchildren live with them um, number five do you have baby names picked out we do it was in another video and I already explained it but I'll tell you what they are and you can go to the other video to hear the explanation of why we picked them out but the boy's name is Orion Maximus and the girl's name is Mackenzie Phoenix um, number six, how many kids do you want and genders? Um, I don't have a set amount, but it is what it is. Um, it's, it's, whatever God gives us is, is okay with me. If we get one, uh, great. If we get three, great. Don't get me wrong. I don't plan on being the Duggars. I do not plan on having 19 children. Uh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> Um, 
Do you plan on immediately trying to conceive number two after number one? Because that's when they say that you're the most fertile. Um, I, I can't really tell you that. Um, I mean, I would love to, you know, you know, as soon as we have the first one, as soon as I can start trying again for the second one, have another one. That would be awesome. I would have no problems with that. But I can't predict how our stability will be at number one. We may be awesome, you know, perfectly stable after number one. Um, and just right there, we, we can't, we really can't afford to have a second one. I mean, nobody can really have, nobody can really afford to have children anyways. That's what I've been told, you know, my whole life. It's so expensive to have kids these days. I mean, it's expensive to have kids, period. But um, not that that hinders me from wanting one um, or hinders me from thinking that I'll give it a good life because I will give up, I will eat Top Ramen every day to make sure that kid is, is well taken care of. Um, but I really can't make the decision on that until that time comes. So I think I'm on the, um, this is the last one, but I think I'm going to split these up into two parts because I'm already at like six minutes and I haven't even, I've only done seven questions and I have a whole list on the other, on the other side. So this is my TTC one. Um, the last question is, do you ever get bored of baby dancing, um, for the purposes of having a kid and how do you keep it spicy in the bedroom? So, um, if you guys have been following me, you kind of already know, I have a very, very low sex drive. Um, it's just not, I just don't ever want to. I mean, and that sucks, and I feel so bad for Vaughn for that. Luckily, it's not a deal breaker for either of us. Um, as far as, you know, he's not one of those, um, if you don't have sex with me, we're not going to be together anymore. He's not like that. I'm not like that. We're just not like that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, and you guys are probably gonna throw stones at me via YouTube, but, um, we, for the most part, only BD, um, once I start taking OPKs, like every other day. So last cycle up until I stopped taking OPKs because it was an, an, an an ovulatory cycle. Um, we did, we BD starting at day 10 all the way through day 35 every other day. Um, it doesn't really, I mean, we skipped a couple days in between because if I, you know, wasn't in the mood and there was no flipping line on my stick, you know, whatever. But, um, I, I just, um, I just don't have that want, and I've tried so many different things that they told me to try, and I just don't have it, so, um, how do you keep it spicy in the bedroom? Okay, so, um, Vaughn's gonna be really mad at me if he finds out that I'm putting this, and I don't think he watches my videos, he never says that he does, but I'm gonna, Vaughn is, um, in, in the bedroom, Vaughn is, is, is the very romantic, sweet, love making man that he is and he's fantastic and sometimes and I know you ladies know what I'm talking about don't deny it sometimes I'm not gonna go into detail but sometimes that's just not what we want you can let your imaginations run wild from there but sometimes that's just not what we want so as far as keeping it spicy that's what we try and do we try and do that instead of the gentle mwah, mwah, you know whatever so Okay, so I'm going to cut this video off now that I'm at nine minutes, um, and then I'll go back and do the non-TTC questions. So um, if you guys have any comments, you know, put them below, and, you know, if you have any suggestions for boosting, um, you know, boosting me up, that would be fantastic. I've already tried maca, which you're not supposed to take with Vitex, so I stopped. So any other suggestions would be great, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.